the Stamp Act. The British government needed to raise money to pay for the French and Indian War. That's why, in 1765, Parliament considered a bill called the Stamp Act. The idea behind the bill was that the American colonies should pay for the protection that the British had and continued to provide. The bill also called for a new measure of protection for the colonies. 10,000 British troops were called to be stationed along the frontier, near the Appalachian Mountains. The Stamp Act was approved by Parliament on February 17, 1765. It put a tax on almost every printed piece of paper that was used in the American colonies, including newspapers, legal documents, and licenses. They even taxed playing cards. Prior to the Stamp Act, the British government had given the colonies a great deal of freedom to govern themselves. The colonists saw the Stamp Act as Britain's way of using the colonies as a source of revenue or income without first getting approval from the colonial legislatures. They thought the British government was becoming too powerful over the colonies. The colonists pointed to the fact that the Stamp Act was one of several new laws and taxes that the British government created after the French and Indian War. They were against these taxes because the colonies had no representatives in the British Parliament, so their voices were not being heard on these matters. No taxation without representation became the cry of the colonists. People opposed to the new laws began to organize protests against the British government. One group of protesters, the Sons of Liberty, formed in 1765 in Boston, Massachusetts. Colonial legislatures officially objected to the Stamp Act too. Colonial citizens boycotted British businesses and the number of protest groups began to grow. Eventually, it became too difficult for Britain to enforce the Stamp Act. So, Parliament revoked the act in March of 1766. Let's review what we have learned about the Stamp Act. Question 1. As a result of the Stamp Act, how many British troops were stationed near the Appalachian Mountains? A. 1,000 B. 5,000 C. 10,000 or D. 60,000 The correct answer is C. 10,000 British troops were stationed near the Appalachian Mountains. Question 2. The Stamp Act was a tax on what? A. Printed paper and documents. B. T. C. Sugar. D. Postal delivery services. If you answered A, you know that the Stamp Act taxed printed paper and documents. Question 3. What was the slogan of the colonists who were opposed to the Stamp Act? A. Boycott the papers. B. Citizens against unfair taxes. C. Colonies unite. D. No taxation without representation. The correct answer is D. Their slogan was no taxation without representation. <laughs>